I'm Mark Kepler with Purdue University Extension Service here in Rochester and Fulton County. And I've been talking a lot lately to individuals and groups and to a lot of people about invasive species. And a lot of times these are species that come in from other countries that most of us don't really have a clue they're even around. And I'm here today besides another one of those that's in real full bloom right now this time of year. And this is one called Asian Bush Honeysuckle. <clears throat> An Asian bush honeysuckle is a plant that has been brought into this country because it is beautiful, white blooms, and because it smells, that honeysuckle smell to it really has a nice odor to it. So people brought this plant into our country and they started planting in a variety of areas. Well, it's really taken off in growing every place. And what it's, it starts off doing is it starts off growing along the edges of woods. And we're along the edge of a woods right now. And you can see it here, and we'll show you more examples of it growing along the woods in, in different areas. And, and as we, <coughs> the interesting thing about this plant is the fact that it can grow in the shade. So it can, starts out here in the edge, and then it works its way into the woods. And as it works its way into the woods, again, the invasive nature of this plant shoves out everything else around there. In fact, all the little plants that we normally have growing in the woods, the trilliums, the jack-in-the-pulpits, the spring beauties, the may apples, all those plants that we find out in our woods get pushed out of the way because of this Asian bush honeysuckle. In northern Indiana, we're just starting to see it really develop and get really increased populations around here. And as it increases in the populations, it'll go into that woods and it'll shove out those other things. In fact, it can be so bad that if we log out the woods, the Asian bush honeysuckle plant will come in before our native trees have a chance to regenerate them small little trees. So our oaks and our, our hickories and our trees that are start to regrow, walnuts, uh, won't have that opportunity because this one will beat it to its punch as they come into that center of it. What's interesting too about this plant is it is one of the first plants to green up in the spring of the year in your woods and then in the fall after everything else has lost its leaves it will still be very green so it really has that potential to to lengthen its season out and that gives it an opportunity to really strengthen itself so when the leaves of these other trees have fallen off this guy is getting the sunlight and strengthening itself and coming along that area so it's called Asian bush honeysuckle and if you see this coming into your woods or in a wooded area what you really, if it's a very small plant, it's very easy to pull up in the early spring of the year when the ground is really soft. I can actually go out there and pull it up. Once it gets this size, we're beyond that. What we have in our arsenal for a plant like this, I again would use a product like Roundup with the, with the herbicide in it called glycosphate. The reason we could use that is in the fall of the year, after everything else loses its leaves, this will still be green. And Roundup only works on green tissue. It does not work on the bark. So if this is the only thing that's green out here, we can spray this, this plant and we can kill it back and it'll go down in the roots and work down in the roots. We could cut this off, but it'll just re-sprout. We could cut this off and apply concentrated Roundup to the cut. That will work also. So this time of year, that's something we can do with that. But this is Asian bush honeysuckle and we're seeing it everywhere up and down the roads of our community and it's in full bloom right now and you're going to an opportunity you can see it what's going on now one of the characteristics of this plant that you can tell is the fact that that uh, I'll break this one off uh, we have branches on here that sometimes we call alternate and we have opposite well this one has opposite branches usually where one branch comes out there we go. Where one branch comes out, there's another one right opposite coming out like this. Now, it doesn't necessarily always mean that case. So that one I just picked up there, several of these opposite ones coming out were broken off like that. But look it over really good. You can see like this in here. There's a little tiny one there coming opposite. But these are opposite. That's one of the very good ways of telling this. And then, of course, look at the flower this time of year. You'll see that white flower and with it in bloom and that's that honeysuckle flower. It comes mostly in white in our area but there are other colors besides that that we can find throughout our community. Okay this is kind of an example of how you might want to see this bush honeysuckle growing in your wooded area. Uh, first off this plant is fairly small right here but it can get way over the top of my head. It can be uh, 
dang near eight foot, nine foot tall. It can get that tall, so it gets way up there. But here's one here, bush honeysuckle growing in this location. We come on down here. Here's another one growing right here. This is one that's getting it. And we can keep right on going down this area. Right back here is another one starting to grow up in this area and, and coming in through here. And so now that they've kind of got a foothold in this community, what they're going to end up doing is going to end up just getting bigger and bigger and wider and wider. And across the road from this location, there's some other ones growing too. So they really started to take a foothold in this location. You be on the lookout in your woods. I'm sure they're there. You go out in your wooded areas and you'll see it growing in there right now. The blooms are just the best way to see it. The fall of the year is another way to see it. It'll still be green at that time. <clears throat> Think about what you're going to do and how you're going to try to control this because it's not a good situation for your woods. And I really encourage you to take a look and try to do something about it. This is Mark Kepler, Purdue Extension Service, Fulton County. Thank you.